Hello everyone, welcome back to the More Stuff Coin Collection channel, MMCC. This year promises to be unique as we've already seen numerous coin releases from the Purse Mint in just a quarter of the year. The Dragon Coins, for example, available in various colors, have gained immense popularity. While I have my own preference in this third Lunar series, I'll discuss that in a different session. Just this month, on 5th March 2024, the Purse Mint released two Eagle coins, one being the standard bullion coin with a maximum mintage of 50,000, and the other is the colored coin I'm showcasing today. Consistent with previous releases, the coin features the renowned design of John Mercanty. So who is John Mercanty? At just 31 years old, he became the 12th sculptor engraver in the United States mint history. By age 63, he had risen to the position of chief engraver and to the United States mint where he worked until his retirement four years later. Since 2014, he has been instrumental in creating unique eagle designs for the purse mint in Australia, the wedge-tailed eagle. Born in April 1943, he will be celebrating his 81st birthday next month. It's Incredible to think that someone his age still actively involved in coin design. Let's wish him a happy birthday in advance and hope for his continued good health and creativity in the future. This coin marks the 11th consecutive year that the person has used his design, which continues to gain popularity annually. This release is uniquely associated with number 9, 10, and 11, referring to various aspects of the Eagle coin. Let's delve into each of these in detail. As you can see, referring to as the ninth coin indicates John's ninth design of Australia which tell the Eagle. First released in 2014. From 2014 to 2015, it retained the same first design, followed by the second design in 2016 and 2017. The third design cycle began in 2018, with a new design each year from that year. In 2024, we witness its ninth design iteration. Regarding the 10th coin, it signifies the 10th anniversary. Simply calculated as the year 2024 minus the initial release year 2014, akin to a wedding anniversary. As for the 11th coin, it denotes the 11th release. Towards the end, I will share my personal story about last year's 10th release coin in color. Now let's take a closer look at the coin. The inscription Australia Witch Tailed Eagle is positioned lower on the coin compared to previous versions. At the top, it features engraving 10th anniversary, and on the top tip of its wing, you would notice P125 signifies the purse mint's anniversary. The design portrays the eagle as a majestic ruler of the skies, symbolizing freedom, power, and speed, especially highlighted by its vibrant coloration, soaring high above the rock of the terrain. The eagle's outstretched wings resemble dark sails against the blue sky, capturing a moment of pure freedom and defying gravity in a mesmerizing flight. 
across the vast sky. With graceful precision, it navigates through invisible air currents. Its sharp eye focused with determination on finding its prey. It paints a beautiful and awe-inspiring picture of nature's magnificence. It records the design from its fifth anniversary in 2019, also featuring the eagle with fully extended wings with rays from the rising sun, ending a captivating touch to the scene. The obverse now features updated portrait of King Charles III, Dan Thong. The new designer for the monarch's portrait has replaced Jodie Clerk's Queen Elizabeth II's portrait that we have been customer to seeing for so many years. The shift reflects the gradual transition from queen to the king on the coin's obverse. However, there are still exceptions that feature the queen this year, such as the most recently released Australia Luna series the third. James Bond Legacy and the Deadly and Dangerous series. The Eagle's anniversary coincides with the Persimmon 125th anniversary, along with the change in the obverse monarch from Queen Elizabeth II to King Charles III. All these make the coin worth collecting. Especially since it is the first year the King Charles III is appearing on the coin, the coin's popularity surged like a meteor hitting the earth. If you try to order it on the morning of the release, you'll likely face the checkout challenges. I had to refresh every ten minutes until I secured my coin at noon, but unwillingly. Sacrificed my colored silver swan coin in the process. So what happened? Well, I have already added the colored silver swan coin to my cart, but when I tried to end the eagle coin, I couldn't. And two hours later, the swan coin was sold out and no longer available in my cart. If you had a similar or different experience, we would love to hear from you. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. My advice: If you are buying coins of different varieties and face checkout issues like being unable to add some to your cart, prioritize checking out to the coin you want first. Keeping them in cart without finalizing the payment poses the risk of losing them. Another、um, story of mine involves the colored eagle coin, which is about the first release of the colored coin for the eagle in 2023. You might wonder why you haven't seen this colored version on the Persimmon website, even though the other websites claim it was minted by the Persimmon. The reason is that the coin was exclusive offered to selected customers. Last year in mid June, I received an email from the Persimmon about exclusive offer for selected customers for the 2023 colored eagle coin. Unfortunately, I couldn't check my email during the daytime. When I finally noticed the email, it was two hours later. I immediately contacted them only to be informed that all the coin had been sold out. So,、um, securing a coin can be Unpredictable, requiring a blend of passion and luck. Passion keeps us attentive to what we are interested in, while luck ensures we seize opportunities when they arise. If you ask me about my expectations for the upcoming Eagle Coin releases this year, I would anticipate. The release of the two ounce, five ounce, and ten ounce coins, with the two ounce and the five ounce variants likely to sell out quickly, following the pattern of the past two years, might also be a proof finish one ounce coin if luck is on our side. 
Additional factors such as the anniversaries and the change of the monarch serve as good reasons for these predictions. Good luck in securing your beloved coins and happy collecting. Thank you for watching and I will be back with more updates soon. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so. See you soon.